Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all doing well and your brains are geared up because we're going to be going over the first phase of the French Revolution, the Tennis Court Oath, Storming of the Bastille, the French Constitution, along with the Declaration of Rights. At first, the three estates rebelled against Louis XVI and the old systematic government for giving an uneven amount of taxes to different estates and not acknowledging the human rights of man. These were the nobilities, bourgeoisie, and the peasants. They were also neglected by the absolutists for gathering together and holding a meeting to discuss these topics, which led to the Tennis Court Oath of 1789. This is when they all gathered at an old tennis court and declared the meeting as the National Assembly, vowing an oath to fight against the monarchy and corrupt hierarchy, which they believed to be a scourge to their country. In response to this meeting, Louis XVI sent 16,000 troops in order to enforce order upon the three estates, which led to the storming of the Bastille, where the National Assembly invaded this state prison, which represented the royal authority in the century of Paris. They took control over the medieval army, fortress, and basically all the units and components of the building. This attack and their victory symbolized the win of the French people over the high authorities and the unfair political system of favoring the monarchies and the nobilities. This movement, along with other contributing factors and battles, contributed to the development of the French Constitution and Declaration of Rights. Getting into the specifics, the French Constitution of 1791 guaranteed the independence of men, new economic and social entitlements, the right to go against any corrupt governmental system, limitations to the powers of the government, and the abolishment and reformation of an inadequate government. The Declaration of Rights was a fundamental document based on the French Revolution that guaranteed civil rights to commoners due to how the people involved in the National Assembly believed that the neglect of basic human rights from the government was a cause of public cataclysm and that the political system should acknowledge the rights and opinions of men. It's made of 17 articles talking about no discrimination or special treatment against anyone's wealth or beliefs. This document also inspired the classic phrase, innocent until proven guilty. All of these events helped transition to the second phase, also known as the radical phase in 1792 to 1794.